collection. Here's the first one they ever made there, Dan. I'm just going you look at it. Wow, that's beautiful. And it's made of a, it's made out of a ball bearing. Just like wow. that. <laughs> yep. So uh, it's, um, what do they call it? Uh, six, uh, fifth. 5062 or, or 5,000 or 562 or something. That's what it's called. Steel. Yeah, it's like I, a, I, whatever's in a ball bearing that came out yeah, of a, it's a, that came out of a big uh, a big uh, yes. caterpillar tractor. That's, that's the first one I ever made, that's and beautiful. I'm kind of glad I kept it. It's uh, not for sale. No, that one's not for sale. <laughs> in fact, none of these are. I yeah. I keep them for. You never uh, know. You might sell them right now. <laughs> I keep them for... Uh, that's a nice little Damascus. Yeah, that's a cable Damascus. Yeah. And that's made out of... It's lovely. Like this. It's, that's made out of a piece of... It's cable. Yeah. I just put that in the propane forge and, and whack it until... It's a lovely knife. That's a really nice little knife. Yeah. There's... That's about how they, they come off the forge there. Mm -hmm. I can I can take it to that point on the forge. Is this a Damascus? No, that's just a plain okay. old steel steel almost, blade. Oh, we'll see a pattern in it. Uh, oh, th was this cable? Nope. Oh, that's just plain steel. Okay. I think. I don't know. I see some lines in there. Yeah, it could be a cable. Mm, yeah. I won't know really whether it's any good until I get it until I get it done up anyway. That one's a that one's. Oh, uh, that's the, beautiful. That's a piece of this. Piece of chain, a uh, timing, timing chain, chain out of a bike actually. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You can see the nickel in it. Yeah. yeah well, the the it's rivets are. Yeah, that's the nickel pins. Yep. Yeah, the rivets are harder than the than the uh, rivet than the links, so that when you etch it and ass it, the links etch away and leaves the pins. What's this? Uh, what's this? Ivory. Oh, ivory. Wow. Yeah. I've never seen it so yellow. <coughs> I think. It's beautiful. I think I put that in the sheath too quick after I oh, stained so it's the stain. sheath. Yeah. I thought it was almost the colors in the ivory. You know. Uh, well, don't tell anybody. No. I think we just told about 10,000 people. Well, you know what? Uh, it came from, that's probably 50 years old, that piece of ivory. And it's walrus tusk. Came down out of the Northwest Territory somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, a friend of mine was in the Department of Fisheries. And he brought it. He brought it back with him, year, uh, being up there years ago. Wow, you got a whole mess of them. Yeah. None of them are for sale. Not these ones. No. That one is made out of a piece of this. Another cable. Yeah. Another piece of cable. Wow. That's a piece of. That's the other piece of ivory off the end of that. Shave with that. Yeah. Man, that is just absolutely over the top. There's a who did your leather work? I do that myself. Do you? Really? Yeah, I wow. enjoy That's the something leather. I've been wanting to learn. I enjoy the leather work almost as much as the as the uh, iron work. Mm -hmm. That's a railroad spike. There's a, a layered Damascus one there. That's lovely. Okay. <coughs> In between the layers of steel, I put 25 cent pieces. Oh, yeah? Yeah, to get the nickel silver to bring uh, out the okay. difference in the pattern. Wow. Yeah. What's the, is it acrylic or something? Yeah, that's just, that's just. Uh, Looks like acrylic. Acrylic, and, and if you hold it up to the light, Dan, you'll see blue in there. That's a, a bug screen off an old Ford truck I had. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I awesome. know, but I always have to no, say it's it. awesome. Yeah, yeah, and then the rest of it's just aluminum. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and my mentor, my mentor Lee Wilson made that one for me. Wow. We sort of exchanged all the guys around that make knives. Sort of mm, exchanged. That is incredible. Yeah. Oh, there's a amazing. A little boot knife. It's like something from a movie. Yeah. And the uh, the knife makers around here get in a pissing match to see who can make the see who can make the, <laughs> the smallest ones. Wow! And still make hold, them. Hold on, we gotta see that in the light. <laughs> here, put them on your hand. Look at that! I wish I had a macro lens. Those are 
Those look like real complete knives, but they're and they two are. and a half inches long. Yeah, and they're uh, they're it's just as much work to make one of those as it is a big one. It's probably more, isn't more it? More <laughs> with my big old hands. Yeah. yeah. Wow, True. that is incredible. Yeah. You didn't try to do the leather work. Oh no, no. <laughs> so that would have been impressive. Yeah. Yes, it would have. I bet it? you could though. Oh sure. Could. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Silk threads. Yeah. And... Just dump them back in there. Wow. That's just a. That's just a little Skinner. That's a. That's lovely. Just I'm, a, uh, I made something similar to that once. Yeah, I've I've seen the pattern around different mm, places. Yeah. yeah, it's a common uh, demo thing yeah, that people right. do, especially in the south, like yes. southern states. Yeah. They're always making these in. Uh, demos yeah. something you can do in a couple heats that one's made out of a um, piece of a baby carriage spring that I would have been wheeled in when I was a baby really yes wow see the the, the pattern work yeah, is I like done that. with files on the back yeah nice file work yeah. it's got a lovely feel to it isn't it that is a really that'd be a real nice just a Skinner, a Skinner. all around yeah. now, it's a different wood, pattern wood that's, knife. that's called sled, it's got sled handles on it you notice the whole knife goes right down through. Yeah. Whereas the rest of these are. Yeah. Any knives I've made basically were this. Were they sort of slab handles? Yeah. And, I did, yeah. Yeah. I've never been very good at doing. Uh, yeah. That's neat. So which one can I buy? I don't, none. None of these <laughs> ones are for sale. Damn. Uh, now that's, that's nice. one my brother made, and gave to me. He. Uh, my brother's a, well, it's no secret, my brother's a recovering alcoholic, and mm -hmm. and this is what he wanted to do to get him through the hard times. Yeah. I said, Roger, I will make the blanks. I'll bring them to this state, and then you finish them from there. And he said, good deal. He's got 165 of those. So he worked that out of a pattern yeah. similar. Yeah, similar to that. So, this is called a clip point. He just, yeah. he just shaped it a little different. Yeah, a little more of a skinner shape. Yeah. Beautiful work right in here. Basically, this is basically this is how they go together, Dan. This will this will get this will get finished off like this, and this this will be modified to fit to fit the handle, and then this gets put on. A little piece of brass gets fitted and put on there. Then this gets epoxied on here. And then a, a washer and a nut gets put on there, and then a cap, an end cap gets made and put That's, on here. Is the end cap brazed to the nut, or nope. is it just epoxy? No. Nope. What happens is the, the end cap gets a piece of half-inch copper, uh, soldered to the back of the end cap, and then epoxied over the nut and to hold it on. Cool. Yeah. I've always wondered. Yeah. I always thought it was... Um, and maybe it is done that way by some people, but I always thought uh, that they uh, riveted it on. Some of the older knives were done like that. Yeah. Cheaper knives. Yeah. This one I made for a guy, and he he didn't take it. So. Uh, why would you not want to take that? Well, he he just thought it was too much money that he. I said, well, that's fine. I'll just put it in my collection. That was the man's initials. Yeah. So you actually put this guy's initials yeah. in? Yeah, yeah. He wanted the initials on it. And uh, and then he yeah reneged. refused to take it. Yeah. That's terrible. Why you wouldn't want to take that at any <laughs> cost? Yeah. It's beautiful. It's. Uh, I don't think you should have it here in the condensation. Just my opinion. Uh, yeah, you're you're, making, <laughs> you're probably right. I suppose you can just buff them up again. Yeah, pretty, pretty yeah you quick. can. Yeah. It's on. It's only brass and. Yeah. And. Uh, that's just a little one. Oh, you did a little face well, on there? It's or was a, it already on there? Well, you know that when a, just an antler, it. when a deer naturally drops its antler, there's a there's a little crown that comes out of his skull. And I thought that looked like an Eskimo hood. It does. Maybe around there. It's just a little skinner. That's been nice. I like that. Yeah. You got me wanting to get into knife making now. Again. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. And... Uh, my son Derek is. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one he's working on. It's going to clean up. Yeah, yeah. It's got to be cleaned up and, be evil. And, buff, and buffed up some, but that's his project. <laughs> yeah. And that's an oo oo bird. Uh -uh. Some balls on him. 
That's an oo-oo bird. What is it? An and when he lands, he goes, oo-oo. 